Welcome back to Indiana Diecast Racing and the continuing round two action of the Sock Hop Slam. Today we've got groups seven and eight. In group seven from Rose Valley Racing, Josh D is driving a 57 Corvette weighing 46.2 grams. In round one, Josh won his group with two lap victories and no DNFs. From Thailand, former party wagon race starter, Toon Tracks driver Rayson Jason is in a fiery blue shoe box weighing 47 grams. Jason eked past round one with only five points and only two completed laps. From Fumo Diecast Racing, Susan is driving a 57 Chevy weighing 51 grams. Susan narrowly missed winning her group in round one despite a single lap victory. In his third entry to make it to round two, Daddy G from G4 Diecast Racing is in Chrome and Fuego, a 57 Chevy weighing 47.6 grams. Daddy G trounced his round one group, winning three out of four laps. Josh and Jason start up front, Susan and Daddy G in the back. Josh cuts inside Jason and gets spun around. Daddy G gets sideways as Josh and Jason streak away. It's a two car race, but Josh will win in reverse, Jason is second. Daddy G glides in for third, and somehow Susan is stalled on the overpass. It's a tight group until Daddy G turns in front of Susan, allowing Josh and Jason to run away with the lap. Nearly a clean lap to get us started. Susan and Josh up front for lap two. Susan and Daddy G take the lead as Josh spins. Daddy G giving chase, but Susan will take lap two. Josh is third, Jason fourth. The 57s with a good start get in front and never look back. After two, things are pretty even as only two points separate top from bottom. The 57s of Daddy G and Susan take the front. Susan gets a good push from Josh and she and Daddy G are all over the place. The group smashes together in turn three and Jason and Daddy G are off the track. Susan trucks on ahead and she will take lap three. Josh takes second. The 57s get in front, but they fail to get separation. The entire group hits turn three as one giant blob and both Jason and Daddy G get run off the inside of the turn. That will all but clinch round two for Josh while both Daddy G and Jason will have to have an epic lap four to catch Susan. The underdogs share the front row so they'll get their shot. Susan helps Daddy G get way out front and the 57s lead the train. Whoa, Susan gets a little wild, but all four cars are right there. It's gonna be Daddy G, Susan, Racing Jason, and Josh. One of the fastest, cleanest laps of the tournament so far with the finish order more or less determined after turn two. And the final standings couldn't be much closer. Susan completes the comeback after DNFing lap one to take the group win. Josh just hangs on to sole possession of second by way of his fourth place finish. On to group eight. Greek Freak from Secondhand Speed is driving Grocery Getter, a Chevy Nomad weighing 45.9 grams. In round one, the Freak took second to Daddy G's Chrome and Fuego on the back of a single lap victory. From Arlo Racing, Rumble is driving Soundwave, also a Chevy Nomad weighing 47.6 grams. In round one, Rumble had a solid win with two lap victories and no DNFs. The next driver I think everyone's been waiting to see again, Remy 12 Gauge from Flips Racing is driving Shotgun, a 57 Chevy weighing 49.4 grams. Remy routed his round one group with three wins and likely would have gotten the sweep if not for an untimely wreck on lap four. Anchoring group eight is Elliot, driving laser wheels for the Cash Money Boys. Elliot's 48 gram shoebox won his group in round one with two lap victories. Here we go with the nomads of Greek Freak and Rumble in front. It's a dead heat to turn one and Greek Freak takes the early lead. Rumble gets sideways and Greek Freak takes off. He rolls in the final turn and here comes the field. Oh, Rumble gives him a shot and Remy 12 gauge claims the win. Greek gets pushed across the line for second, Elliot is third and Rumble rolls across for fourth. 
Everyone is right with Greek until Rumble gets sideways. Greek takes the final turn at a weird angle, causing him to roll on his side. He slides towards the finish as everyone else comes barreling down. Rumble hits Greek dead on, transferring a ton of momentum that gets Greek rolling again. Remy is able to squeeze past for the win, while Elliot passes up a dazed Rumble for third. A wild one to kick off Group 8. Oddly enough, everyone picks up where they left off with Remy on the pole. It's another close one, and Remy slides into the lead. They're giving chase, and Greek gives Remy a tap and loses control. Elliot connects with Greek as Remy cruises to another win. Greek blows his one chance to pass Remy, who extends his lead to two. Elliot moves up front and will need to have a strong finish here. Remy gets in front as Elliot spins. He gets it straightened out, but Remy is already way ahead. Thanksgiving for Remy. Elliot takes second. Whoa! Rumble awkwardly ricochets off the wall as Greek passes for third. Wow, I don't know what happened to Rumble, but he had already wrecked when he came into frame and bounced off the wall. Remy 12 gauge clinches a spot in round three. With a really disappointing round two, Rumble is eliminated. Rumble's last ride is from the pole with Elliot on the outside. Elliot turns down in front of Rumble to claim the lead. He catches an edge on the wall and Greek knocks him off the overpass. Rumble's gonna lead them to the finish and oh! Remy and Greek slam into the funnel at high speed and I'm not sure Greek actually passed the finish line. Instead of trying to pass, Greek Freak appears to intentionally steer to the right, knocking Elliot's shoebox off the track, assuring Greek spot in round three. Greek tries a similar move on the faster Remy at the finish, but I'm being told Remy crossed first and they are awarding Greek Freak one point for third as he broke the plane of the finish line, despite not staying on the track. In any case, it doesn't matter as Greek Freak would advance to round three along with Remy 12 gauge regardless. Congratulations to Susan, Josh D, Remy 12 gauge, and Greek Freak. This has been Jim D for Indiana Diecast Racing. Be sure to check in next time for more slightly above mediocre diecast racing and the continuing round two action of the Sock Hop Slam.